Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today, we are doing more missions. We've, we've completed every single mission across Fishing Planet, if you need to do one of those missions, check out across the channel and you will find it there. But today we are doing Fish Monster missions, so we need to get the Turtle Spoon. We already made a separate video of that, we have to equip the Turtle Spoon to catch this T-Rex monster. So yeah, to get the Turtle spoon, spoon, we made a video just before this, you can check that one out if you don't have the Turtle Spoon. But today we are going to track this mission, get this fish monster mission complete. It will give us some XP and some cash and some bait coins, which I'm always up for bait coins because that's what I spend my real money on. So as you can see, my guy there is lit up in orange. It says here that they are better off in the night and you can catch them pretty much anywhere in the lake. But this is where I did it. So starting off here, I equipped the turtle spoon did cast out and the peak time was actually from 9 so that was pretty good. I fished right up until nearly 12 o'clock at midnight. It, I probably could have caught it a little bit quicker. There was a couple of things I was running back and forth making coffee and stuff as well but <laughs> yeah anyway. Anytime I will set a marker for this. Anytime I do live streams I always do use face camera mic. Anytime I make videos like this I just randomly hit record. They always turn out to be the best videos I've ever made. Just want to say thank you for everyone to everyone as well recently. There's been so many people sharing my videos on Twitter and on Facebook, Instagram and everywhere. So thank you everyone who's been sharing. I appreciate it. It really does help me out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell anytime there is updates on Fishing Planet. I download and store as quick as I possibly can. Set up a live stream buying new DLCs to get into those new lakes. Showing all the new missions. Showing you how and where to catch those new unique fish. And obviously showing you all my setup. All that good stuff that you need to know. Today, this mission, I would probably say took me about an hour-ish, maybe an hour and a half to do it. No, no, I say about an hour. The longest part was the editing. Oh my god, because I had to catch 10 fish and I kept on catching a lot of trout and stuff, the editing was absolutely crazy. Yeah, I spent, <laughs> I spent many hours editing this one. This one probably was my longest video editing out of every single video that I've ever done on Fishing Planet, and that is a lot. We've got over like 500 plus videos. Yeah, I spent so much time editing this video. It was unbelievable how long it took me, but it was worth it. You guys requested it. If you've got any comments, you can always leave it in the comments section below. And I try and get back to you guys as quick as I possibly can. We also do play other fishing games and other new games that come out. We try and show a lot of that content on the channel as well. And every now and again we do moto blogs, unboxing videos and other types of strange things. You can check those out across the channel if anyone's interested. We are family friendly just to mention that as well. If I ever do play a game and it's not family friendly or if it's PG I will always mention it. I don't really play brutal games to be honest that much but if I ever do I will always mention that. So we've got to catch ourselves 10 of these T-Rex fish. And starting off, there's our first one. So I don't really think I catch one any bigger than around about, I think maximum goes up to about five pound-ish. So yeah, they weren't very, very, very big. You don't necessarily need to have the same rod as me, the same reel as me, or the same line. As long as you have that turtle spoon, which we made a video on just before this video. As long as you've got that turtle spoon and you're casting in the same direction, and obviously fishing at the same time. As long as you're doing that, and then you'll, you will catch these fish, no problem. But obviously you could use the same setup as me. If you, it's, it's completely your choice. It's up to you how you do it. I was casting a maximum of about 87 to, to about 89 foot just straight in front there. That's, um, that's as far as I could cast. Now this rod does cast a lot further than that. But because I'm using the Hash 1 spoon... Yeah, I can't get the distance on it that I normally would, but it's okay. It's still working. There's our second one that we needed. That one was a little bit bigger than the last one. Yeah, there were so many edits into this video. There you go. There's another one just there. I think that was actually the same clip. It was actually the same clip. I kind of messed my edit up there. That was our second one. Yeah, apologies for that. <laughs> As I said, for making this video... Yeah, there were so many edits that I had to do. Definitely my most longest. And then obviously as well as making all those edits, I then had to do a voice recording. And this is actually a voice over the video. So yeah, there were so many edits. A lot of time went into this one. So just because of that, 
Don't forget to drop a like. It lets us know that you are still enjoying Fishing Planet and you appreciate my hard work that went into this one. It wasn't too long catching. I did. I did, actually didn't mind doing this mission. It was just the editing that um, kind of killed it for me a little bit. Anyway, here's our third one that we needed. I also do bring in a lot of trout. I catch a lot of trout, and I also do catch the um, the Colorado unique as well, which I show you that. So there's some rainbow trout. The amount of rainbow trout I had was absolutely unbelievable. So I'm showing you each time to where I'm casting. You can catch them anywhere in the lake, as I mentioned, but I know that here, where I'm fishing here, to catch those um, those trout, this is kind of a hot spot. So because I know it's a hot spot, that's why I decided to fish here. I could have been wrong, but I just um, I just went with it, and it actually did work out pretty good. I didn't end up moving location. Fishing from here, this is where I caught every single one of those fish that I needed to catch. And I caught them I caught them all before 12 as well, as I mentioned. Okay, so here's another one. Here's our fourth one. They do look really nice, those fish, actually. They really do. I'm sorry about the edits. I know they're not that great. That is the fourth one. We had two clips of that. I'm, I don't know why, but... Um, yeah, I kind of did mess the... Well, I didn't really mess the editing up, but I did a, a slight little bit. There was just so many video clips. And when I make recordings, I, I randomly hit record. Obviously, that's that's what makes the better videos. Because I randomly hit record, I, um, I don't name them. So I just hit record. It all goes into a folder. Then I put all the files together and... <laughs> Sometimes video clips get lost. Sometimes I can't find them. Sometimes I have to look through them all. Yeah, that we've done every mission all across Fishing Planet. So all those missions you will find there, as well as a lot of fish monster missions as well. There's a Colorado Golden Trout as unique. I thought I'd just show you that one just because I did catch that. Yeah, fish monster missions you will find across the channel. If you can't find a certain fish monster mission that you are looking for and it's not on our channel, and then give it time, it will be there. But we don't have many left now. I think we only have three fish monster missions left to do, which I'm working on those right now. So we'll have every single mission, even the most newest lakes, we'll have every mission on the channel that's already there. And then getting these fish monster missions completed. And then when new lakes come, working fast on doing those missions as well. I wanna, I wanna get those up as quick as I possibly can, as well as showing that new, new lake and how to catch those new fish. Those missions will be there as quick as possible. When the, when the update drops, I don't normally sleep for at least, I say a minimum of about 18 hours plus. I really do work hard on getting those videos out to you guys as fast as I possibly can. There is our fifth one that we was looking for. Normally I make my videos for around about 10 minutes long, but sometimes I can't help it if they take longer. It's just the way it is. Sometimes when you're doing these missions as well, we do have to move around to catch these certain fish, just to mention that. But to get this turtle spoon, we do have to catch three turtles, which, as I said, I made a video on that. That was actually pretty fast. So in total for doing... To get in the turtle spoon to then catch these fish. In total, I wouldn't say it took me any more than two hours in total. It was pretty quick going. It was just the editing that really let me down. <laughs> it really, really let me down big time. Okay. Just a, another thing to mention quick as well. As you, I'm pretty sure you, you've been, you can see, but just to mention. I've been doing stop and go. So there's another one. There's our sixth one. Yeah, I've been doing stop and go at real speed one. That seems to be what has worked best. Again, this is a, another fish that I thought I'd just quickly show you. Been catching a lot of those as well. The, the young trout as well as the trophies. But yeah, real speed one, stop and go is how I did. Um, how I caught all ten of these fish. Plus a lot of other fish as well. In In the time that I spent here... I actually didn't do too bad. My net, my net did actually fill up pretty good. So if you're a low level, um, maybe you might want to drop some of the other fish and only keep the fish that you're trying to go for. 
if your net's really small, I probably wouldn't even recommend doing this until you've got at least you net. You want your net be between at least forty to around about sixty ish, about forty to sixty ish pounds. I guess you could probably do it that way. So there's our seventh one. It's nearly three and a half pound, and I think we're about to catch it again. Well, at least I'm showing you whereabouts we're catching it. That's one good thing. This video should definitely help you out, for sure. If you've got any comments, do leave it below. Let me see. Is it? Do we catch again here or not? I don't even know at this point. No, okay, we didn't. I don't know why I was showing that video clip then. But um, it's there for some reason. <laughs> 86 foot casting again. I was quite lucky, really. I think I probably the one, the only one thing that might have made me catch that little bit faster was if I could have cast that little bit further. Possibly that might have made a bit of a difference, but I still got the job done. That one's just over four pounds. Now we need two more. Counting it down, getting that little bit closer. <clears throat> I think this is um, is this another one, or is that a different fish? Hold on. Nope, again, another rainbow trout. Yeah, I wanted to show you me catching a few of those because you do actually catch quite a lot of them. And even if you even once you've completed this mission, if you wanted to use that turtle spoon in here, I would say it works quite well, to be honest. From the location that we're fishing, it does work quite well catching a lot of those other fish. So this spoon is still really handy to keep after obviously you could get rid of it but there's not much point it, it, we got it for free working through these missions so there is three and a half pounds that was our ninth fish now we need to get that last one so that way we get this mission complete i have quite enjoyed doing lots of these different fish monster missions we've still got some sent crocs to do but it depends on what order i upload it in because I'm just putting these clips together, making the videos actually a video. So, by the time this video gets out, we might have every fish monster mission complete anyway. So, yeah, if you want to do other fish monster missions or any type of mission, look across our channel. It will be there. I can't wait for that next update. I'm, waiting, I'm now waiting on that next update. So that way we, I can show you more new missions and new places to catch new unique fish. But that was it. There we have it. There's our 10th fish that we was looking for. The T-Rex. It doesn't really look too, too bizarre or too crazy, that fish, compared to some of the other fish monster missions we've done. But anyway, we got 1,690 XP. We got 2,100 cash, two bait coins, which... Is always really good. Congratulations. Mission has been complete. We caught all of our fish that we needed. Plus we got our we got our mount. So yeah, pretty good. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Subscribe for more updates and don't forget to drop a like. It lets us know you are still enjoying Fishing Planet. That's where we cast too.